Hi guys, Alec Pierce, Vintage Scuba, and our, uh, this is our, uh, we're having several episodes on spear guns. I mentioned uh, on an earlier ep episode that spear, spear fishing was the beginning of the sport of scuba. When scuba first came to North America in the, in the early 50s, uh, it was all about spear fishing. All the spear fishermen went crazy because now they stay underwater. You see? Uh, eventually the sport obviously changed and, it became, and people started to explore and it was wreck exploration and getting artifacts and now it's photography and, 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 and oceanography and so on. But in the old, old days it was, it was spear fishing. That's what drove the sport was spear fishing. This kind of a magazine which uh, published first, I think it was 59, am I right Kevin? 59 or 61? Somewhere in there, maybe 51 maybe. Anyway, I can't remember now, but uh, it was the periodical for many, many years. And for the first 10 years or more, 51, uh, it was all about spear fishing. The front cover Skin Diver magazine the magazine for scuba diving and so on, every front cover would show two or three guys with some big fish they had speared. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, now, the other thing is that in those days, we made a lot of our own equipment. If you've been watching this series, you've seen some homemade scuba gear. Yes, homemade scuba gear. We had homemade lights, homemade knives, homemade tanks, homemade regulators. Yeah, we had all that stuff. You look back through the series, you'll see some of them. But obviously, since we're talking right now about spear guns, I need to talk to you about homemade spear guns. There were articles in Science and Mechanics. It was a great magazine. Science and Mechanics, uh, not around anymore. Uh, popular Mechanics occasionally as well, and Popular Science too, but Science and Mechanics was the best. And they had articles about all kinds of neat stuff to build for scuba divers. And they had an article in there about, about uh, spear guns. Also in Skin Diver Magazine. Every once in a while, once a year, there'd be a two or three page article about how to build a special spear gun. I had a beautiful big gun that I built many, many years ago in the 60s, probably, out of a, uh, a piece of two by two cedar. It was beautiful, two by two square, long, six feet long, That's right? And a, and a long steel shaft. And I, oh boy, did I work on that cedar for a long time and shine it and polish it and finish it. And uh, made the made the shaft, made the uh, made the sear, the trigger, everything. From, beautiful big gun, big gun. Unfortunately, it's one of the few things from my early diving days I don't have anymore. But I have this one. This was a smaller gun that I made much later, and uh, this was a better gun than the Attic gun because I had a little more experience. There were better articles there. This gun is actually made from this this piece down here is actually aluminum solid piece of aluminum bar, and I was able to get someone to weld onto the end of it, uh, this piece on the end. I don't know if you can get in there. I, let me show you, do some close-ups on here, Kev. I'll show you a few things while I talk about it. So this piece on the end is very simple. It's just a, a rectangular piece of, on the end, welded on. You can see that. The guy did a pretty good job. It's hard to paint aluminum so the paints come off. And that has a hole for the spear and has some other holes as well for the slings because the slings would fasten up there and the slings came back and hooked into the, into the uh, spear to the shaft itself. Now the back is, is a little more, you can see it's homemade. The back has just two pieces of metal, one on each side, and just nuts and bolts through to hold it in place. A filler on top just to keep the, the shaft from popping up when you cock it. And then I got a nice piece of wood, and I was pretty handy with wood. A nice piece of wood, you can see how it goes right through there, and I shaped it to my fingers. It's custom made for me. And my gun won't fit anybody else's hand, right? <laughs> really, really nice. And a trigger, and you can see the spring underneath the trigger. Very, very simple. And, uh, and the, the mechanism inside was copied from, usually from production guns. Uh, we would make a sear. The sear is a piece of, when you push this in, listen. <laughs> won't, won't do it now, Kevin. That's the sear in there clicking. And then uh, the trigger releases the sear. The sear is under spring pressure. And the trigger, you pull the trigger and that releases the sear, it pops down, out the shaft goes. So it was all very simple, actually. It takes a bit of work and it's, and it's really, really nice because you had a nice spear gun, first of all. Secondly, it was yours. You made it and it made it really neat. I'll tell you, the first time I went out with my own, this gun, my own gun and shot my first fish, boy, I was proud. If I'd had a really expensive spear gun from Healthways or Voight or some company in those days in the 50s or 60s, and I got out and bought an expensive spear gun, like $30 or something, you know, I, I would have probably got the fish too. It's not the same feeling though. This was my gun I built, and away it goes. It makes a big, big difference. So these were quite popular. Homemade spear guns, very, very popular. There's still quite a few around. Gets us, the old, gets us some old dive stores, particularly along the West Coast, some in Florida but most particularly on the west coast. And you'll see some big old long guns called Attic. 
a drug addict. Addict guns were very popular. My very good friend, uh, Sam Miller in, in California, he has many that he built, and some from other friends as well. And, uh, and they were just a whole lot of fun. Another part of the sport of scuba diving in the old days. Today, nobody builds anything for themselves very much. But back then, we did a lot of it, and it was a lot of fun. Vintage scuba. I hope you enjoyed that. Homemade spear gun. Talk to you again soon, Alec Pierce.